guys, welcome back. I'm glad to see you today. Today is episode four of Building This Bookcase. On the last episode, we got the whole top done, the shelves put in, the tops put on, everything fastened to the wall and in place. So structurally, this bookcase is done. Now, we need to do the finished fronts because we can't leave it looking like this. I have to run to the store to get some molding and some trim uh, and the other parts that I'm going to need for this. So you stay here, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I got the wood from the store. Now I'm going to take the wood and put it here in my enclosed trailer because it's looking kind of like it's going to be raining today and I'm doing most of my cutting outside. So I'm going to get this out of the weather and then we're going to go back inside and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, we're all unloaded. Let's head in. Now in an effort to make some definition on this bookcase, I've made the center portion a little bit different than the two outside uh, bookcases. As you can see, I made the center portion about two inches taller on the, on the top and about two inches lower on the bottom. This is going to give me an opportunity to put some nice definition into this bookcase. I'm going to go ahead and get started on getting the uh, trim that I have for up here cut, fit, and sized up to the areas, and then I'll work from the inside out. Now in an effort to maximize the amount of material that we have to work with, we want to make sure that we get the table saw set up right on the money for cutting these boards directly in half. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up and then we're going to start ripping these boards down. We have this set up exactly two and three quarters of an inch, which is going to be the five and a half inches that we're working with. I have the kerf of the saw lined up directly on the center on that three quarter inch line, so we should have boards that are literally just under two and three quarters of an inch. Okay guys, I got most of the facing put on this. I'm now going to start putting the uh, fronts on the permanent shelves. Now to finish the fronts of these shelves, I'm just using some door casing molding. I'm putting a bead of glue on it before I put it up there, and then I'm just going to be brad nailing it to the fronts of the shelves. This will make a nice solid bond, plenty for just what this little bit's going to have to hold. Now that looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that all the way down. Okay guys, that's all I have time for for today. As you can see, we got the uh, facing mostly put on the bookcase. We have a couple down here on the bottom shelf that still need to be done. Uh, and on the very bottom of the bookcase that need to be done. Uh, after that, all we have left is to make the uh, shelves that are adjusted. There's going to be eight of them. Uh, some up here at this level, and then some down here at this level. Four across. Um, what else do we got? Uh, we're going to be putting a coat, a coat of clear coat on this. Uh, probably just a, a brush on lacquer. Uh, that's clear. Help bring out the colors of the natural oak. Uh, that's what I have up there. I love that color, or lack of color. The, the oak has some beautiful shades in the, in the grain, so... That's what we're going to be using. Anyway, hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope to see you soon on my next episode.